Hi, welcome to our walkthrough for adding your bank accounts to Crunch. My name's Luke and during this session we're going to set up a current account and also a credit card account. We'll start with a limited company setup and then I'll show you a sole traders one. They're very similar but there is a slight difference. First of all head over to banking and then accounts and cards and select add new bank account. From here you need to enter a display name. Make sure that this is easily distinguishable if you've got multiple and then add the bank provider's name. So for example, Barclays. Next up, you wanna confirm that it's a business bank account only, and that it's also a pound sterling account only as well. Finally, pop in your sort code and account number. Now this is really important for two reasons. Firstly, it's gonna show on all of your invoices. And secondly, you can also set up open banking. Now the difference with the sole trader setup is very subtle, but you have to enter the name that's registered to the bank account. You also then need to enter an opening balance. And finally, just confirm whether it's a business account or whether you're just using your own personal. Once you've done all of that, it will look something like this. And then if you are happy with everything here, just simply go down to save in the lower right. You'll then see the card shown here, but also going back to open banking, if a feed is available, look at the icon in the top right and then you can go ahead and get that set up. And I'd strongly recommend doing that if it's available as soon as possible, because it's gonna make your life so much easier later on. Now let's go ahead and add a credit card. So this time go to the lower right hand corner and select new credit card. From here, again, you just need to enter a display name to help you distinguish it if you have multiple and then the last four digits and then the same as before, just confirm that it's a business credit card and that it is pound sterling only. Should look something like this when you're done. And again, if you're happy, just pop to the lower right and press save. And that's it, you're all done. So you've now got a current account and a credit card set up. And if you need to add more later, just follow this process once again.